Hello and thanks for stopping by. I'm going to take a quick break from the action figures for a moment and I'm going to bring you a playing card deck. So this is very similar to something I've done before. So uh, a few videos back I made a um, kind of review type of thing on the Dragon Ball Z bicycle playing cards. Now bicycle is a US manufacturer for playing cards and this time they've collaborated with Shonen Jump once more but on Naruto Shippuden. So this is the packaging right here. I have not opened it, it's still sealed. Uh, so I'm gonna open it and show you the cards themselves. But first, let's jump into the packaging. So this is the actual box itself. And you can see the front is very similar to the Dragon Ball Z one. If you haven't seen that, I've got that right here too. So you can see it's using the same three color, similar three color uh, tone to it. So orange, black, and gold this time. Um, uh, sorry, orange, black, and white. And then using the sort of one single character, the titular character, which is Naruto, of course. I'm gonna put a Dragon Ball Z one away. Uh, so this is also kind of reminiscent of a lot of Bicycle's own playing cards with a Bicycle logo in nice big font. Uh, you can see the cloud detail behind him, uh, Naruto logo here, and then playing cards. On the side, just some extra uh, text on there, nice little detail with the Konoha leaf symbol. On the back is what the reverse side of these playing cards will be, so the Konoha symbol here and here, and then patent artwork in and around uh, the rest of the detail of the card. This little seal here is quite clever. So this is the seal that Naruto has for the nine tails on his belly, if you remember. Um, so using this as the seal of the packet is pretty clever, in my opinion. Then of course you've got regular stickers, uh, Studio Pero, which is the animation company. Uh, Naruto should put in playing cards on the side again. At the top is, I think, a shuriken just underneath the seal there, but it's kind of obscured a bit. Bottom, it's nothing really special to talk about. So let's get this open. I'm going to show you the cards themselves. Okay, so here are the cards that I've taken out of the packaging. Now, these are not in any particular order as in I've left them as they came out of the packaging. I haven't rearranged it or anything. Um, so let's go through them. So this is the first card. So this is the Joker and it has the Nine Tails Fox or Kurama on them. Uh, it's all going to be uh, black and white line art on them, which is consistent with the Dragon Ball Z playing cards as well. So this is a very simple line art there. And then on the reverse side, this is the same pattern that was also displayed on the actual packaging itself. So again, with the Konoha leaf on the top and bottom, uh, and then the various other patterns. So that's gonna be replicated throughout this entire deck. So I'm gonna leave that upside down here for you now. Next card is another Joker. This one with Orochimaru with his tongue sticking out. This one just kind of uh, works really well for a black and white picture, I think. Uh, or Orochimaru in general is a pretty uh, simple kind of color tone character design. I'm a big fan of Orochimaru in general. Uh, so this is a nice card. I'm going to put them face down all the time. Then this is the first ace. This uses the Uzumaki symbol. A lot of these I had to look up. Quite honestly, I forgot a lot of what the symbols and uh, kanji and things like that meant. This is the Uzumaki one. So Uzumaki being what Naruto is part of and his mother. Uh, so this is on the ace. And this one, uh, I actually didn't know, but it turns out this one is the forehead kanji on uh, Jiraiya's headband. So if you remember Jiraiya, which was a pretty cool character who mentored Naruto for a little bit uh, before he died, spoilers. Um, and this is the kanji that features on his forehead, which stands for oil. Uh, and that's, uh, yeah, what, what Jiraiya has. Three of Spades is uh, nothing unique. It's pretty standard for all Three of Spades cards. This one, I actually forget what it means now. I think it means, uh, not ninja, that's something else. This one, oh, bonds. This is Kizuna. So in Japanese, it's Kizuna, which means uh, bonds. And I don't recall any character in particular having this kanji anywhere, like on their clothing or anything like that. But I had to look it up, and yep, it means bonds, which is, uh, you know, it relates to this whole... Uh, uh, what's it called anime series uh, because Naruto is all about his bonds with his friends and his families and you know everything basically bonds is his his thing next card is the five of spades and this one is a piece of food that you get in Japanese food typically in ramen this is like a topping uh, and that's called uh, Naruto which is where pretty much he gets his name from and of course you've got the swell as well which is a kind of a recurring theme with that character Six of spades is just plain, nothing unique. Seven of uh, spades is going to be the Konoha symbol that 
appears everywhere from the village to the headbands to people's clothing uh, to everything every village had their own icon most of them uh, I don't remember and actually this is probably the only village headband that features in this deck of cards next is going to be eight of spades and this one has the leaf uh, which is nice as well because it blends in well with the aces um, the eight spades uh, and of course Konoha Kakure is a leaf village so it just makes sense to have it nine nothing on that one 10 is Ichiraku Ramen I guess it's a 10 out of 10 establishment Ichiraku Ramen if you don't remember or you've never seen the series is Naruto's favorite ramen restaurant um, stall in his hometown village uh, so yeah Ichiraku Ramen then we get to the characters so the Jack is going to be young Naruto and time skip uh, grown up Naruto so give you a look first of the younger one and then onto the grown up one so this is the one that features on the front of the packaging so that's very cool very similar kind of thing to uh, some of the Dragon Ball Z cards but this is nice where you've got the young and the old kind of feel that works very well I'm going to put that right there then the queen is Jiraiya Jiraiya again I mentioned mentored Naruto for a little bit before he uh, was uh, killed off uh, and there you can see the kanji that was mentioned before which I just showed you earlier and then on the other side then or upside down is going to be the Hokage uh, I think this one was the fifth Hokage I believe something like that um, and then yeah he ends up getting killed off as well I'm just gonna give you all spoilers at this point but he was a really cool uh, character uh, so yeah that's cool then the next one is a king and this one has pain and then uh, corner I think it is upside down so corner in there I'll show you pain again because I kind of went through it quite quickly I'm not really sure why Pain features on this one or these two. Um, generally, there are a bit more uh, uh, Katsuki members. So I guess this is just to complete the members. But yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, those two characters. This one took me a while to figure out. Um, but this one, I believe then, is the little diamond. That little diamond bit that features on Tsunade's uh, forehead. And then Sakura also gets it as well. So it's like the seal. Uh, yin seal I think it's called um, so when she releases it this is part of the stuff that happens so the diamond it releases these little red bits um, that kind of gives it the whole regenerative uh, kind of ability and curing effects so yeah it took me a while to figure that one out uh, but that's what it is two of diamonds does not have much by the way let me going back going back to this one that is kind of clever obviously because it's a uh, ace of diamonds so a single diamond so it's it's a nice clever thing to do not every card is used in such a clever way or in or, you know even the seal that was quite clever that I showed you in a box but that one's quite clever two of diamonds nothing there three this one is one I'm still a little bit unsure of because it's a three of uh, diamonds the fan, the only one character that I know that uses a fan is uh, Temari. So her fans though, her fan even, the sh pattern, it is three, but it's circle patterns, not diamond. Maybe that's a deliberate edit. Uh, I think it is. So I'm going to say it's Temari's fan. Four of diamonds, nothing there. Five of diamonds is a regular uh, ninja star or shuriken, if you want to call it. Six is regular six. Seven... Uh, this one again has me a little bit stumbled because there's a gazillion scrolls in the series that I don't know which one particular scroll this one is. Uh, I guess this is actual is, is relevant to you diehard fans, but I can't remember which scroll it is. I tried to look up Ten Ten's ones, uh, some of the uh, Naruto's ones, but I couldn't really um, nail which one it was because um, the others had like more legible kanji on them. This one is not that legible to me. So um, yeah, help me out on this one. This uh, had me stumbled for a little bit. Then I realized actually it's at, po at a point of the manga where I just kind of lost a lot of interest. So this is the Shinobi Allied Forces headband. So I'm going to do big spoilers as if I haven't done any already. So way later in the series when Naruto is all leading stuff, um, he basically you know bundles together a whole bunch of people that uh, rally against the big bad evil boss. And this is the headband they use, uh, which says Nin, and it can be combined to uh, Ninjutsu as well if you have the extra kanji uh, that appends to it. But Nin, uh, that's what it is, and that's what the, they use uh, at the end of the manga and anime. 
This is a nice clever one as well. So Sakura, cherry blossoms, uh, which of course can only relate to one particular character who's going to show up in just a moment. So 10 is plain. And here's the one I was talking about. So Sakura in young and more mature form. So the young version at the top right now. And then turning it over and you've got the older version, which she's a bit more uh, feisty, stronger as a character, even though they kind of ruined her character uh, by the end. Then we get to the next card, which is the queen. And this one is yeah, fittingly, it's going to be Tsunade. So Tsunade was another Hokage in the series. Um, and this is where you can see the diamond on her forehead that I mentioned uh, early on with the Ace of Diamonds. Uh, so now you understand why it fits so well with this particular character. Then on the upside down side is going to be, uh, I forgot her name, Sh Sh Shizune, I think it is. Uh, Shizune, I'm pretty sure. So that was her assistant, a uh, very loyal assistant. Um, so this is her. Then we come on to more of the Akatsuki members. So we've got Deidara on the top who used putty um, to kind of explode them from a re remote putty, remote explosions. That's what he kind of used. Uh, and then he is partnered with uh, Sasori, who was the puppet master. So Deidara here. And Sasori, which is his human form, if you like, his little childhood child human form rather than his puppet form. So that's Sasori. Then this one, of course, is going to be very exciting for a lot of fans because Uchiha Itachi has many, many fans, of course. So this is him here. Kind of give you a closer look right now. See if you can see his showing on. Um, they're not detailed in this image. They've kind of, you can see he's got a showing on him, but it's not detailed with the Tomo or anything like that. Uh, so that's Uchiha Itachi with his partner, Kisame, who looks like the shark. Uh, the shark guy, I call him. So he's got a water... Um, What's it called? The banished water forehead uh, protector. Just like Itachi has the banished um, Konoha one. And then we get another Orochimaru. So Orochimaru isn't just the Joker. He's also a queen of clubs. So he is right here doing getting ready for some Ninpo. And then on the upside down is Kabuto, who was his partner slash assistant kind of dude. Loyal again to a point. Um, so that's him. Then we get Sasuke, who... Surprisingly, it doesn't feature that much sooner, but here we go. Sasuke, just like Naruto, is a jack as well. So we've got young Sasuke at the top, very smug looking, or confident, I would say, more confident. This is him being smug. So young, confident Sasuke, too smug Sasuke that nobody really liked, you know, uh, apart from Naruto. Um, so yeah, that's Sasuke. Ten of clubs is plain. Nine of clubs is also plain. I think I might have uh, switched these around all of a sudden now, but it's okay, just bear with me anyway. Then we've got the uh, Eight of Clubs, which uses the three, tom three Tomoe Sharingan. So both of them, which again is quite clever because you're the left eye and the right eye. And you know, with Sasuke in this deck, let me bring it back out again. Ten, and then the Jack right here. So Sasuke, of course, was the, you know, uh, Uchiha, sorry, Uchiha Sasuke is a um, pretty legendary clan, part of the Uchiha clan. And of course, they were, those were the clan that had this whole eye thing going on. And yeah, Sasuke having both of these, of course, his brother and everyone else, that's quite fitting, I think. And again, it's a nice, clever way to use uh, the Naruto world motifs within a deck of cards. So that's cool. Seven is plain. Six uses two kunai. Not sure how if that's clever or, or uh, a good implementation, but it's there. This one, again, because this is uh, clubs and it's Sasuke's kind of uh, suit, if you like. Sasuke does a massive um, shuriken, so that's his one. In his younger days, he used it. I don't think he used it much after uh, in Shuppuden, if at all. Four clubs, three of clubs. Uh, this one uh, is dumplings or dango that is popular in the Konoha village I actually don't know why they even have this maybe because they need something for three and this fit for them then the two of clubs is the manga kyo sharingan and this is clever again because again two because you've got two eyes typically uh, and it relates to Uchiha Itachi so Sasuke's brother who has a better version of the sharingan so instead of the one two or three tomoe which is a little 
bits that kind of exclamation marks or apostrophe, whatever you want to call them. Uh, Uchi, Uchiha Itachi's has the evolved version, which looks just like this, and it allows him to do different sort of uh, abilities, unlocks different sort of abilities for him, like um, summoning Susano because he has two of them, uh, and doing black flames and things like that. So this is cool. Again, clever because it's two of them. I actually prefer Sasuke's one because in the 8 you had the 2 in, in the central position and it's quite cool that way. This is the Uchiha symbol so in the first series you will see this on the back of Sasuke's clothes uh, which is, you know, it might remind you of a Pokeball but it's the Uchiha symbol in this case. The fan. Um, and then King of Hearts is more Akatsuki members so these two, I, I mean I know them uh, so this is uh, Hidan and Kakazu, I believe, in the bottom. Um, I don't remember their characters all that much, apart from him being super, like, um, cocky. And he kind of died really quick, I, I think it was. He was so cocky, and then he just disappeared. Uh, and then you got the other side, which is Kakazu. Uh, forgot which village he comes from. Uh, but he's like a zombie type of dude. Then the Queen. So Queen of Hearts is going to be the fourth Hokage. So Namikaze Minato, which is Naruto's dad, <gasps> spoilers, uh, and you know he died right in the beginning. It, it's established at the beginning of the whole anime manga that you know he sacrifices himself, and then he was a nine tails fox, which was the Joker way in front into his son's um, body, basically. Uh, so this is him and his Mrs. Uh, Uchiha, uh, uh, not Uchiha, uh, Uzumaki Kushina. Um, at this point, and she's pregnant, you can see she's got a bit of a belly there, pregnant belly, not fat, pregnant belly. Um, I don't know too much about her, to be honest, because at this point in the manga, it's just kind of like, can we just end? Can we just end? But, I mean, it's a nice coupling, uh, pairing of the card, because, yeah, husband and wife, why not? Then this one's a cool one too, so you've got another jack, so this is the young Kakashi and grown-up Kakashi. So Kakashi in his younger days, where he's just kind of like, out of it, uh... But it's cool. Yeah, I feel like he's a bit chubby. But, you know, it's cool. Um, and then we've got the grown-up Kakashi when he starts leading Team 7. Ten of Hearts. This one had me stumped for a little bit too. This one is for Sarutobi Asuma. So this is for Shikamaru's teacher, basically. Uh, and he's the one that you had the little beard, if you like. Again, spoilers, he gets killed off too. Uh, and he uses these serrated knuckle blades. Then the nine of hearts is the fire Hokage symbol, uh, which is on one of the earlier cards, one of the very earlier cards, which the Hokage use on their hats. So that's that one. Eight of hearts has nothing on there. Seven, this is for God. So we've got his little tank thing, his sand tank, and then I, the love kanji that appears on his forehead uh, nice placement on it because if you're looking at Gara, it's always above his left eye so if you're looking at him this would be his left eye so it's a good placement actually uh, so pretty cool on that one this is the naruto doing his whole um sexy no jutsu thing um so yeah six i guess sexy no jutsu right <laughs> five of hearts and then four, oh, this one I actually don't know. A lantern. I actually don't know it. Help me out with that one. Number three is, actually this one I think is for fourth Hokage when he uses like his teleporting, um, uh, the shadow, not shadow step, but like that mist step sort of thing that he does uh, where he kind of throws it and then teleports to where it lands. So that's his weapon. Two of hearts is plain. Ace of Hearts is Kakashi's favorite book, Icha Icha Paradise. Uh, so that's cool. His first love, maybe. And then finally, we get to the last two. So it's Joker, which is Uchiha Itachi again in a different pose. This one, this time, he's got the birds, the crows around him. And then the final card is Joker again. And this one is of Gara himself with the sand tank on his back. So this is young Gara. Uh, the older one had like a well, he, he had slightly longer hair and different outfit on. This is the young version. Interesting why they chose Gara. I don't really know why. I'm trying to think why they would use Gara. Um, they could have maybe used uh, maybe I forgot his name now. One of 
Naruto's other mentors. Uh, but, you know, hey, why not? Because right? it's just, yeah, Gara is a bit of an odd one, I think. But, yeah. So those are the cards in this deck. Now, just to show you the Dragon Ball one here again. So this is the Dragon Ball one. I'm going to take one card out. Actually, I'm not going to take any other cards out. I'm just going to show you the back. So the Dragon Ball card back was this. But it's black and white where the Dragon Balls are. So comparing them together. So these are the Naruto Shippuden cards. I say Naruto. Naruto it depends on uh, how I want to say it at the time. It's I'm not consistent either way. Um, this I got from CD Japan. They cost me around, let's say, $15-ish. Uh, and then shipping on top of that. You can probably still get this from not only CD Japan. You can try Nippon Yasan. You can try Ami Ami. You can try Aitaikuji. Many places uh, online. Uh, HLJ potentially as well. Uh, they didn't really sell out uh, like the Dragon Ball ones did. So you should still be able to get these for the regular retail price. Overall, these are pretty nifty cards. Uh, they feel the same, actually, like the Dragon Ball Z cards. I can't comment any further in terms of playing with these cards, magic tricks or things like that, because I don't really play uh, these kind of card games or do any magic tricks. I'm just not into it. Um, yeah, yeah, I couldn't comment on them, uh, on them in that sort of way. But Bicycle are pretty notorious for uh, having very good cards, very lightweight and easy to handle cards, very smooth textured cards so you can check reviews from actual like pros on card use but for me i'm just here to show you what the cards look like and then just babble on about them but anyway that's the cards so here's the dragon ball one again who knows if they're going to carry on with this collaboration with a whole shonen theme going on the next one i mean if they did it my hero academia would be the uh, like it, may, it would make most sense to do that kind of one because that's a very popular uh, manga and anime at you know in the, in this kind of uh, decade let's say so that's an option too they could always just do dragon ball super because dragon ball z was you know there was no super characters or anything like this in that because dragon ball z super is still you know immensely popular right now too so there's many many kind of series they could do I'd, i would actually like to see more i would like to see more because having just two on the, of them and seeing how consistent they are with each other i think kind of sets like a good foundation to continue this uh, collaboration i think so i've told you where you can buy it I've told you how much it cost me i've gone through all the cards and that's all i have to say about these now so if you do like naruto i think hey why not get it it's not too much money uh, and if you can find the dragon ball z ones dragon ball z ones by all means try and get those too if you haven't checked out the video on the dragon ball z ones do check that out my next video will be going back to action figures hopefully but Thank you very much for checking this video out. Thank you uh, for checking out all my videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please, by all means, do subscribe. Let me know what your favorite card was from these in terms of artwork. And please do help me out with those, the lantern one. Uh, and there was another one that I forgot. So if you know what those kind of meant, or if you see any sort of uh, other relationship within the card deck placement that I have not really picked up on, or you think you know what it is, then yeah, leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching though. I'm going to leave this video here. Take care wherever you are and whatever it is that you're doing. Peace out.